Okay, so in this video, I'm going to explain how to graph a tangent function and I'll be using this example. So y equals 1 half tangent 2x and this should be graphed over two periods. Okay. In graphing a tangent function, we could first identify the period and the period can be obtained by using the formula 180 degrees over B okay if the tangent function is of the form a tangent BX plus C so here you could see that the B is basically the coefficient of X so if the given function is y equals one half tangent to x that means a is one half b is two and c is zero so to find the period all we have to do is to use the formula so the period is 180 over b and this is 180 divided by 2 equals 90 degrees so to graph the tangent function we can now create one period okay so this is the strategy we use for tangent once you identify the period you plot that angle in this case 90 degrees we use two grid lines so one two and then we set we set the period so 90 degrees okay and then immediately take the half of the period and that will serve as the asymptote okay so the half of 90 is 45 so the asymptote will be here this will be your guide in graphing the function okay and then you try to reflect the 45 on the other side so you have negative 45 degrees here then you also create another asymptote to create two periods you have to locate an asymptote on the right side of 90 so basically to find that that should be the same length from 45 to 90 so you need to have 45 here so this is 135 degrees this is where the other asymptote is located so in doing that we will be able to create two periods for the function one half tangent to x okay so let's just erase part of the graph that's oh, okay so we have <clears throat> negative 45 we can include 0 as well this is 0 and then 90 and then 135 okay so this is what you need to do you need to locate a point so you locate the point corresponding to 0 and 90 by putting each angle on the x of the function okay so there are just two angles that we will be using 0 and 90 so if we have y equals one half tangent to x then this means one half tangent two when the x is zero so we have tangent two x or two times zero so this is basically one half tangent of zero and then if you solve for one half tangent of zero so this should give you so one half tangent of zero equal zero so this is equal to zero so that means a point zero degrees and then zero when it is 90 so y is equal to one half tangent of two times 90 so this is equal to one half tangent of 180 then you can use your calculator to find that so this is equal to zero as well so you have 180 degrees and then zero so just plot those two points 
So when it is 0, it should be 0. When it is 90, it's also 0. And then carefully, so create, just create a graph passing through the points and then following the asymptotes over two periods. So that's how you graph this function. Okay, now sometimes the functions can involve a movement, like say minus 1. So they're basically same graphs as this uh, one that we have right now. But they will look like as if they are moved by certain units. Okay, so for example, if I change this, if I change this to y equals 1 half tangent 2x minus 1, the effect of the minus 1 will basically a movement of the graph down by one unit. So if I have to illustrate that, so this point will be moved down by one unit, this point will be moved down by one unit, and then your, your graph will look like the one that is green, so here, so down by one unit. So that's the effect of the minus one on the function. Now you can also do like substitute every x by the 0 and 90 and then just subtract minus 1 in the end and you will get the corresponding values okay so that's how you graph this function there I have also videos on how to graph different trigonometric functions there you will see like what will be the effect when the tangent is negative uh, how will the graph look like so you will be able to see it there but for now for this particular example the graph should be the one here with the color black okay so note this function was graphed in two periods so you could see two cycles of the function okay that's it